Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative and in this week's tutorial I'm showing you how to make a carousel out of any Divi modules. That's right, you can make any of your regular Divi modules or third-party modules into a carousel. So I'm going to show you how. I will link this blog post in the description there on YouTube. So let's get started. So it's kind of crazy to think of this, but it, it really is possible. Now, obviously, we need a plugin to do this, as it takes a lot of coding, and we're using like the slick JS library and making a whole interface for you to make your modules that you have in the Divi Builder into a carousel, and they can slide into all kinds of things. All right, so that is the prerequisite. You will need to install that if you're already a member of our you know our membership where you get all of our plugins um, you can just go to your account and download that or if you're not a member you know why not um, you can also purchase the individual plugin so first of all what does this plugin do and this is really cool so maybe I should even say why we built this plugin so I noticed that there were a lot of other developers making carousels but each one of them had to make a specific module or a specific plugin for a specific type of carousel. So if I wanted an image carousel, I had to download a plugin that made an image carousel. If I wanted to have a testimonial carousel, I would have to look for a different plugin that made a testimonial carousel. And I realized like that seems, you know, unfortunate. Plus the features inside the carousel were limited so if you're used to like working with the normal modules maybe you want a blurb module or you know the video module whatever you couldn't do it in those other modules so that's why we made the carousel maker tried to think outside the box even literally you know think outside the module instead of making a module we made we ha we hacked the interface of divi and so when you go into any row or column which you can see in this little um, gif that's going there you literally can go in there and we added an extra tab into the interface and that's where all of the carousel settings appear so that's a little background of like why we did it and that's also what it does so it makes your regular modules into a carousel and then gives you lots of settings okay now the first thing when you are making this is to decide where you want the carousel to be. You know, do you want to have it in your theme builder? Do you want to have it on a certain page? Um, obviously, I think deciding where you want the carousel would be related to what modules you want in the carousel. Do you want this to be about videos? Do you want this to be testimonials? Do you want it to be like a gallery of images? Do you want it to be, you know, blurbs where you're highlighting services and features? So basically go to that section and then go to that row and then go to a column inside the row. So the carousel is in the column. Um, the reason we did the column is because that's the next div up from the module, if that makes sense. Plus, you can actually have two different carousels in two different columns in the same row. We were first going to make it with the row and then we realized it had to be in the column anyway. So anyway, you decide where that goes and then just go ahead and add your modules. So I'm going to walk through an example, just adding some modules to a carousel and show you how easy it is. Now I do have a link here that says explore our demo site. And the reason I have that is because we actually have at this time 113 different downloads. So I could download this right here I could literally just click download here and install this carousel and it's using image modules. See, each one of these is an image module. Remember like in the image you can set like a hover effect, so that's what you're seeing there. Um, I also have a feature in our carousel where it makes this light box. Even though you're using images, it also makes a light box. Here you can see an example of testimonial module, so you could use any module. Here you can see video modules. You know, I've, I've adjusted the styling of the module and then placed them in the Divi Builder. Here you can see some blurb modules and we made the middle one highlighted so it's a little bigger. 
all those are settings in the in the carousel. Here's some logos and blurbs and blog posts. All right, so I'm going to just go to this page. Uh, in fact, let me let me go to the front end. All right, so first of all, let's say I decided I want my carousel here. Um, I want to make an image carousel. All right, so I would go and add one column, and then actually start adding the images. And what I would do here, you could do this a couple of different ways. So if I knew that I wanted to uh, style my images, maybe I knew I wanted to put a border on them, okay, right? So maybe I knew that I wanted a red border. I could do that first. And then what you will do is duplicate it a number of times. Now notice that these are just stacked. That's how it works with our plugin. Now this is version... Um, prior to Divi 5.0, we don't know quite yet how Divi 5.0 will change this plugin, but if you're watching this in the future, you know, maybe it, maybe it'll be different. At this time, there's no visual preview because we're hacking the Divi builder, okay? We, there's just no way Divi can render our settings. Let me just show you our settings. Go in here, go into the column, and right there it is, carousel. So what I will do is go into this general settings, make this column a carousel, and there it is. Now I can adjust all kinds of settings. The number of columns, like how many you see at a time, number of rows, we don't usually need that, but you can sometimes. Here's spacing around the carousel. You can make a custom width for each module. You can do a cutoff mode, which that's pretty cool. Um, in fact, let me just turn that on to show you. Vertical alignment, here's scroll settings. You know, how many scroll at a time when you click next or when it's auto scroll, here's auto scroll. The interval, do you want it left to right, right to left? Um, do you want to pause on hover? All kinds of things here, right? Here's a transition effect. You can make it like cover flow or just slide as the default. You can enable the buttons. You can do arrows, text, or both arrows and text. And then put where you want those buttons to be. Um, my side is default. Here you can style each one. You can pick an icon, you can adjust their position. Same with controls, you can basically choose dots, numbers, or images for the, the controls at, like at the bottom and then the alignment, and then each one default and active you can style differently. You can do a slide counter where it tells you like one of five or whatever, and then it you know changes the number. Now you're on slide two of five, and now three of five, okay. Design settings, these are pretty cool. You can actually highlight one of the modules, left, right, or center, or none. And then like if I would highlight the center one, um, you can do equalize module, module height also, and make them all the same height. And then you would go in here and like put a background color for each one, and you can change the highlighted and default differently. We have hover settings. You can choose like these different hover settings, like when you hover over the module, maybe it'll get a little bigger, like grow. Let's try that one. Then you can change settings related to that. We have some responsive settings here, but most of the responsive settings will actually be throughout, like the number of columns. Well, I want there to be three on desktop, two on tablet, and one on mobile. So that, there you go, is responsive settings. And then we have some miscellaneous settings. So let's just go ahead and save that. And now I have these um, four or five images I will save and exit the builder. And there you go. Remember I enabled these on the sides. Remember I enabled cutoff mode, so you can kind of see that. When I hover, it's you know, growing. That was the hover effect. Here's my default controls, that's dots. The purple one is the highlighted one. Um, and I think by default, auto scroll is on, and it's going um, left to right, or I'm not sure which way. But anyway, um, that is basically it. That is, I just made an image carousel just like that. Now here's a little trick when working with the plugin. You can duplicate your tab and then keep that one there and then enable the builder in this one. Um, so watch this. And you can combine modules too. So like let's say I wanted to get rid of all of these but um, one of the images. Now I wanted to make a text module I could put a text module in there. Maybe I also want a blurb. Cool, okay, blurb module. Maybe I want a call to action module. Just put 
that there to show a button or yeah here and maybe I want a testimonial Oops. and boy we could do anything here I can do a video certain things you probably wouldn't work certain things would not be practical in here uh, what else do we want here Pretty much any of these would work. It's just some really wouldn't make sense. Oh, you can also do a blog. Um, you can make a whole carousel and blog modules. In fact, I would recommend if you do that, set the post count to one, set the layout to full width, which it is, um, and then watch this. If I duplicate it, see how I have two blog modules, then you'll just use the offset feature. So I'll choose one. Now they're different. I could even do another one. Go in here, keep it on one, set the offset to the next the number up. All right, you can do the same thing with WooCommerce products. Uh, products, yeah, Woo products. You can do the exact same thing. Set the count to one, um, and then it's going to show just one. I can duplicate that, set the offset of the next one now to one. Uh, we have all this in our documentation, so don't worry. Um, what did I do? Did I delete it? I think I did. Wait, right, where's that guy at? I don't know where, it, where it's at. Anyway, um, you can do that with the portfolio. We've added that. The portfolio doesn't have an offset, but we've added it. All this kind of stuff you can do. Now, if I save here, like I was saying, a, a nice way to approach building with this, since we don't have a visual preview, just go over here and use your other tab. So, you know, you're working in this tab, and then over here I can just refresh. Um, I'm probably going to want to turn off some of my other settings in the carousel. There's that product. I'm not sure why it's not. Um, but anyway, you get the idea. You can literally build any module in here. If you had third-party modules, that would work too. So we have instructions here, um, all the settings. We have docs for all of this stuff. Um, so again, that's with uh, um, Divi Carousel Maker. It's really that simple. I know there's a, a ton of things to cover there and a lot of settings. We have, I count them in groups of settings. So there's 120 setting groups in this plugin, which is crazy. So it really does give you a lot of control over all of those things. So I hope you enjoy that. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and have fun making those carousels. And don't forget, you can download the demos from our site as well. All right, we'll see you in the next video.